Hey everyone, today we're just going to do a general all signs uh, by element. So we'll start with earth, then work on to water, then air, then fire. And what I've done is pulled a couple cards from the New Orleans deck to get the overall energy just so we know what we're doing. Uh, this will be for your sun, moon, and Venus. So whatever resonates, follow it, whichever one. But if it also resonates for another placement, go for that as well. So we'll start with the overall energy with the New Orleans Oracle, and then I'm going to use a past life Oracle and a life purpose Oracle, uh, a couple tea leaves and gypsy witch to kind of identify the situation. And then we'll follow it up with some inner peace guidance. Alrighty, let's get started. All right, Taurus, we're going to start with you. Your overall energy from the New Orleans is number 15, step back, and 29, spiritual knowledge. 15 breaks down to a 6 if that has significance to you, and 29 breaks down to an 11, which also breaks down to a 2. Go ahead and read for you what's in the book. 15, step back. Oftentimes we can get so caught up in the details of what's going on in our lives that we can no longer see things clearly. Just as taking a step back from a picture to see it more clearly can be helpful, it is now necessary to step back from your current situation in order to see what's going on more clearly, sort of get a bird's eye view of the situation, right? higher perspective. By allowing yourself to look at the situation from the outside in, you will be able to take in more of the bigger picture in order to come up with a solution that is not only more solid and in flow, but also more empowering. And perhaps give you some more higher perspective and that spiritual knowledge so spiritual knowledge knowledge can be gained through a multitude of experiences and teachings during this time you will find clarity and guidance through being open to different types of spiritual teachings it is not necessary to tie yourself down to just one teaching but rather to go where your energy leads you after all spirituality and connection are not things that can be summed up in just one book or practice for everyone Take what resonates with you and create a peace within while keeping your mind open to everything. You are likely to find that you are drawn to bits and pieces of different teachings that will lead you to your own organic spiritual connection, experience, and understanding. Now, the identifiers we have here from the past life oracle is body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. So perhaps thinking outside the box with regards to one of those modes or modalities might lead you somewhere else just to explore it. And you also have the Native American card, so perhaps something from the Native American culture, but it could be any tribal or shaman, shamanic uh, association. I kind of look at that card as all shamanic, <laughs> which can be global, you know. Uh, there's shamans all over the globe, so <laughs> think outside the box. <laughs> You also have the butterfly, a, um, a symbol of transformation. So this seems like this is going to elevate you and evolve you, right? A change for the better. And who knows, gong, an exciting event. Maybe there's events oriented to this. You also have the four of pentacles. Again, I'm just using it as an identifier. We're not going to describe the situation. Um, the four of pentacles is your energy, Taurus, okay? And you have the dog here. Number 27 leads to a 9. The dog, if near, represents true friends. If distant and surrounded by clouds, beware of unsuspected enemies. So maybe you're going to be making some new friendships, but you do need to be aware of what's um, cloudy, like clouding your judgment or clouding knowledge or not being straight up, right? That's kind of how I see that outside of a spread. All right. Now for your... Unshakable inner peace advice. You have number four. Yeah, let's bring that closer to you. You are the joy seeker. What little victories can you celebrate? You also have number 10. Out of the woods, you've made it through. What newness is emerging? All right. So that just tells me. Whatever this is, is going to be something joyful and fun, right? And um, new, brand new to you. So again, think outside the box. 
go from a higher perspective, see from the soul self like where you're being led to. It's going to have something having to do with something native, shamanic, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, some kind of body work. I also see the tattoo on there as well, as well as the wings. So that may clue you in as to what to look out for, signs or synchronicities wise. Um, you've got massage on there, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. So definitely something that's more physical to the body, right? That connects not just mental, but spiritual as well. All right. All right, Virgo, your overall energy. You have number 13, which breaks down to a four, patience, and number 20, focus. 20 breaks down to a two. And two is divisible into four by two. <laughs> so 22 might be important as well. <laughs> All right. A tree needs time to grow after it's planted, and the same could be said for even our best laid plans. By simply doing what is in your power and then having some faith and letting go, you will see the fruits of your labor come to pass one step at a time. This card has shown up because you are eager for results and your patience has worn thin waiting for them. Take stock of all your actions. It may be that you've already done all that is within your power, and now it's time to let nature take its course. Focus. Everything is energy, including your thoughts. Think of your thoughts as different cars driving by. You have somewhere that you want to travel to, and you have the choice of any vehicle that passes. Would you want to get into every car, or would you select the one that seems best equipped to get to your destination? Every thought can be a step either towards forward movement or stagnation. If this card came up, it is because you must pay attention to where you allow your fo focus to lead your thoughts. Be aware of where you put your energy mentally and emotionally will enable you to create a more self-empowered journey. It is time to not only realize that you have a choice about where you focus your energy, but to also see how those thoughts are affecting your energy. Now, it could just be that impatience is creating the mind to panic, right? So this is a good time to just calm, be patient, wait, temperate, balance, okay? Now, you have the teaching card. Uh, you inspire young people to learn, it says on that card. That's the life of this. And that gives me the inclination next to baby there, and I can't really see that. There you go, baby. Babies are all about new beginnings, right? Um, or something young, or perhaps, you know, whatever you're waiting for involves teaching children or new folks um, to whatever it is that you're teaching, right? Or um, think new, think teaching, learning, education, right? Okay. It could also mean that because you're embarking on something new, maybe it's time to start learning about something new. And perhaps that could very well be from young people. So flip the energy, right? You also have not unsuccessful plans, and that's perhaps where the patience comes from, right? Problems to be resolved kind of also indicates that maybe it's just not quite ready for you yet. So this is a moment to kind of sort of add to the knowledge pot, right? Okay, it's a good time. And you have the Queen of Swords here, which is feminine energy, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And it's all good because it sounds like, you know, the swords are all about thought. It's all about, you know, speaking and, and truth and communication. So this could very well be an opportunity to do something educational regarding that, right? Number 42 does break down to a six. Another number divisible by two, <laughs> so <laughs> except with three this time. A more is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. So perhaps whatever the situation is that you're being patient on um, will end up well. Just don't panic, right? You know, don't don't have that unfocused thought on it just because you're anxious or worried. This would be a good time to redirect that energy, right? Okay. So, your unshakable inner peace cards are number 19, 10, if I can get it to focus. Eliminate distractions. Stop shining light on things you are not. How can you reclaim your power? There we go. We're finally focused. And you have number 15, also a six. 
There we go. <laughs> you can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? So this is a good time to self-reflect, perhaps even do this as self-love, right? And that's how you can connect with your higher self. And maybe you'll learn something new from your higher self. Something new. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. All right, Capricorn, you have number four, music, healing, and eight, share your gifts. So I smell a musician in the mix here. <laughs> Is someone doing a show? Let me know. I want to go. All right. <laughs> number four and number eight. Okay. So those numbers may be significant to you. 48, you can break down to 12, three. Okay. There is healing in and through music for you. Music can be one of the greatest healing modalities available to us. With or without words, the melodies and rhythms reach deep into your soul to create inspiration, excitement, healing, and release. The universe is urging you to spend some time in a musical environment. Whether you create the music, dance to the music, or just listen to it, being in the musical energy will help attune your vibration to the highest good for the next steps in your life. Share your gifts. Show the world what you're working with. Jackson Square is a historic landmark. Today, it's also New Orleans' foremost showcase for people looking to share their creative gifts and natural talents. Whether it's fancy food, artistic masterpieces, or intuitive readings, everyone wants to be seen and seen in Jackson Square. Your creative side is calling for more freedom to be shown out in the world. Creativity doesn't have to be limited to active activities like painting or singing. You can write, make jewelry, create anything that, that you feel moved to create. There is no need for a ready-made place to share your gifts. The more you choose to do, the more space the universe will make room for you to share. Okay, so from what I'm getting from that, and you've got the books card over there, uh, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. So perhaps it's about the you know, spoken or sung word, right, as well. You also have the farm card. And when I think of the farm, right, as an identifier, not just as a location, but farms are places where we nurture animals to grow, right? It's also a place where we grow food and produce and things that are nourishing, right? It's, you know, the life-sustaining spot for mankind. So maybe what we're doing here is we're harvesting music and creativity and word and gifts that we're going to bring to the world, right? And maybe help out a community there. So that's what I'm kind of seeing with those four placements right there. You have broom, new home, new attitude. So maybe there's some kind of new spot to go to where this can be placed into, right? You also have vase, secret admirer. And the seven of cups, which is Scorpio energy, Number 21, which is also a three. The stork denotes change of residence for this better, sooner or later, according to the distance which it lies from the person. So perhaps I'm seeing a re relocation having to do with something creative, right? That involves community where you can share your gifts, perhaps with word or music or both, right? Where you can nourish a community, right? Your unshakable inner peace cards. <laughs> Number 31, also a four. So fours are significant here. Everyone is on their own journey. How can you focus more on your own path? So instead of getting distracted by what others are doing, focus on what you need to do to share your gift, right? New attitude, new home. Number one. Okay, good, it focused. <laughs> I love this card. You create your own reality. What you want, wants you to. What do you want to experience? So this is definitely something where it's good to think about what you would like, you know? And you've got ideas here that can go a number of ways, right? That involve community, that involve sharing, that involve all sorts of creative outlets. Um, and who knows, you might gain fans. Look, you've got secret admirer. <laughs> So that could be that as well. All right. And Scorpio is a sign of transformation. So whatever this is, maybe uh, 
next level for you. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's see if I can scooch that over so you can see the past life oracle in the back there better. Okay. You have number 22, speak your truth, and number 24, keep going. 22 breaks down to a 4, and 24 breaks down to a 6. You also have three twos there and a 4, so that may be significant to you as well. All right, 22, speak your truth. Being aware of your feelings is one thing, but learning how to express how you feel in a calm and balanced manner can sometimes be a challenge. It is important to understand that speaking your truth does not mean that it will be understood or accepted by others, and it doesn't need to be. The only thing that matters is that you are able to give your feelings a voice and acknowledge how you truly feel. The more you are able to acknowledge and identify how you genuinely feel, the stronger the relationship you have with yourself will become. It is not about being right or wrong. It is simply about knowing and practicing what it means to honor yourself through verbal communication. Now is the time to speak your truth freely. 24, keep going. There are many times when we feel like we've had enough, done enough, and been through enough. These feelings of frustration are just reminders that we are not yet where we want to be, but we are on our way. Take a moment to count the small milestones that are contributing to the bigger picture. Sometimes we can be so focused on where we are that we forget just how far we've come. Right now, it's important that you continue to move forward no matter how, many, how small the steps may seem. You are on the right track, and success will be inevitable. But if you allow yourself to dwell on the negative thoughts or put your energy into things that you cannot control, then you are more likely to buy into the illusion of being stuck, and it will be harder for you to move forward. So keep going. And uh, you have the crack cup here, dissatisfaction with life and rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So perhaps whatever the situation is, um, it's time to speak your truth, but keep going and not feel dissatisfied, right? Don't let the negative thoughts get you down because it seems like whatever, you know, is, is happening in the moment for you, there is a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. I just thought, I just noticed <laughs> how the rainbow is heading towards this metal here, right? It's made of gold. Okay, so you have the Knight of Wands, and that is Aries Leo Sag energy. You could be dealing with somebody that's got heavy aspects of that. You could also be dealing with somebody that has that more immature masculine energy that a knight has. You have number 45, which breaks down to a nine. Um, and because this is the Gypsy Witch, and we've taken the cards out of a spread, what I'm going to do with the numbers and and the actual description are going to be more synchronized numbers for you, okay? So you have number 48, which breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. And you've got a lot of 2s, 4s, and 8s, well, 1, 8 here. But you definitely have more 2s and 4s, which tells me that this is all about balancing and unions and working together and, you know, having that effective communication, right? So there's got to be something about that regards to that. Now, this could apply to anything, work, love, life, right? Um, and fours are about protection, so you're good. You'll be fine um, as long as you speak your truths and you do so honestly and true to yourself, right? And you just keep going, keep persevering without worrying so much about what's dissatisfying you. Focus on the good stuff, right? The order denotes honor and recognition of labor. So this could very well be about something you've worked hard towards. Doesn't necessarily have to be job or employment or anything like that. But maybe you've been having something that's a labor of love, right? Um, but it could also be a sure sign of business success. So really just depends on what business is to you. For some, home life is business, you know, a working... You know, a mom that's at home taking care of their kids, that's business, right? It's important. You also have the trust card there. So trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Um, and the monk or nun also kind of tells me that there's a need for faith. So trust and faith here is really important. Um, as identifiers, it doesn't necessarily have to be a career path, though. I'm using this card not so specifically to life purpose, but more identifier. So whatever you feel like you need to work on, that's your career path, right? 
whatever it may be. It could be a hobby. It could be your self-care. It could be, you know, family, and your home life, that kind of thing. Improving your social relationships. All right. Your unshakable inner peace cards are 27, 9. Again, another 9. Nines mean near completion, so you're almost there. The universe rewards motion. What guided action can you take today? And you have number three. You cannot make a mistake. There are infinite possibilities available to you. Where is your heart guiding you? All right, Cancer. I think that's excellent. So you've got this. Just persevere. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, just keep on moving, right? Keep going. That motion card there. All right. There you go. All right, Scorpio. Okay. So I'm already immediately seeing, as soon as I put out the cards, you have number three, let loose, and number 17, which breaks down to an eight, body balance. But I also see energy healing um, and Asia. So maybe some sort of spiritual practice would be beneficial to that. Okay, so I feel like those cards are together. You have the six of wands. The six of wands is Leo energy, okay? Um, you've got some sort of lightning denotes surprise. So maybe there had been something risky. The claw, be careful, do not take risks. And yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Perhaps there was something surprising that was risky that became a frustrating circumstance. And now you need to rebalance yourself, okay? I'm just seeing that right off the bat, just with what's in front. And energy healing is going to be useful. And perhaps something from Asian practice wherever right go ahead and read let loose number three everyone knows that mardi gras is the celebration of all celebrations if this card has shown up in your reading that means it's time to let loose and forget all of the obligations that have been plaguing you even if it's just for a few hours and perhaps maybe there's some obligations that surprised you and you weren't prepared for it right your ability to experience fulfillment and enjoyment in the moment has been compromised due to overthinking, managing life's obligations, and experiencing a lack of joy in your day-to-day -day life. This current imbalance, you got the body balance there, confirm that, has started to affect you generally positive outlook, and it's time for some revitalization. Cut loose, even if just a little, and see how much it positively affects your energy and outlook. Number 17, body balance. Think of your body as a plant. Just as a plant needs a certain amount of sunlight, water, and a suitable environment to, in order to grow and be healthy, your body requires proper nourishment in order to thrive. The balance of the body can be affected not only by what we eat, but also by what we think and the surroundings that we find ourselves in, like being feeling tied down or frustrated, right? That could also wind us down as well. This card has shown up because it's time to support your body by bringing it to a higher vibration. During this time, it is recommended that you incorporate more natural and raw foods, um, exploring mind, body, and spirit practices such as yoga, tai chi, or king gong, and spending more time in nature will also help you find balance that your body craves. The let loose card also tells me maybe it's time to go dancing because that will let out some of that, you know, stuck energy that... Um, you know, you were feeling tied down with or frustrated by, right? It might kind of like let that loose a little bit, all right? All right, your inner peace cards are number 11, everything is a reflection. Hold up the energetic mirror. What do you need in your life that you're not currently getting? And number seven, Things are not what they seem. You're only trapped by your illusion. What freedom do you seek? So that's another let loose, right? And perhaps whatever this situation is, is not as serious. Nothing you need to worry about. Probably not even your problem. It's probably somebody else's problem. Um, and perhaps maybe they need to go dancing too. Time for a party. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any Chinese New Year festivals happening right now in the world? <laughs> <laughs> or uh, lantern festivals or dragon festivals. I don't know. There's so many different festivals. It's beautiful. Maybe go do something like that, right? Or go see a movie about that kind of thing. Or, you know, a nightclub or something. Who knows? 
find something cool. I'm get I'm betting it's something that gets your body moving, whatever that movement means for you, right? It could very well be as simple as just doing Qigong, because <laughs> there you go. That is an Asian energy healing physical activity. All right. All right, Pisces. So overall, we have 12 self-care and 10 lanyap. That's the gift in the New Orleans deck. You also have infinite abundance from the life purpose oracle. And spirituality and religion is an identifier from the past life oracle. You also have happiness and jug, lighthearted, carefree time from tea leaf. And you have the seven of swords, which is... <laughs> Um, Libra energy, I believe. Uh, so there seems to be some justice. Um, number 25, clouds, right there. Uh, clouds with the dark side toward the person, but it's not towards you. It's actually phased away. Uh, indicate divorce to the bright side towards the person. It ensures domestic happiness. And since it's by happiness and lighthearted, carefree time, I'm going to bet it's more on that side of the equation. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start with Lanyap, number 10, which breaks down to one new beginning. There we go. Good intentions always pays off in one way or another. You've pulled this card because although things in your life may not pan out exactly as you had anticipated, your karmic reward will be quite pleasant and may surprise you. Sometimes the best gifts are the unexpected ones. If you continue to live your life led by positive and loving thoughts and actions, the peaceful and pleasant results may surprise you. And the infinite abundance card there kind of tells me that. And it could also be connected to some sort of spiritual um, related upgrade as well. This definitely feels like it with, in combination with that self-care card. All right. 12, self-care. 12 breaks down to a three. It is time for you to put your focus back on taking care of yourself in the most basic ways. Pampering yourself with a long bath, taking extra care about the food you put into your body, getting enough rest, and simply taking some time for yourself is recommended right now. You are close to running on empty, and it's taking a toll on you more than you realize. Now, we could also incorporate that divorce there, probably that was emotionally draining, right? For those that had gone through some sort of separation or disappointment like that in life that was just severely like, you know, situation and life changing, you know, changing up everything because that moves you from home and family and breaks things up, could be a loss of job, you know, your job could divorce you. <laughs> it could also be just a loss of, you know, loss of opportunities that you were head hoping for, right? So perhaps you'd work so hard for something and then you had to fight to keep it and then you lost it and now you're kind of on the back end of receiving that that energy and now things are finally calm like you know the dust sort of settled and now you don't know what to do self-care is important okay sometimes self-care can be as simple as learning when to say yes or no at the right moment based on how you feel take this time to care for yourself and notice how quickly things start to fall into place in a much more effortless way Okay, and it sounds like it will be good for the soul as well. Yeah, number 43 is your inner peace card. Rest, renew, recharge. There you go with your self-care. Self what does your body crave and need right now? And number 12, which breaks down to a three. Your true tribe can't show up until you do. How can you show more of the real you? So maybe that's something to think about for the future while you're doing this rest and relaxation hermit mode type of thing, right? So it's like you can kind of figure out where to go next. You know, whatever this ending was, you know, you're going to have this new beginning here. All right. And that is the gift. <laughs> Number one. All right. All right, Gemini. So the cards we had that came out for you is number six, Gratitude, and number seven, End of Cycle from the New Orleans deck. You also have the Environmentalist card from the Life Purpose Oracle, which says you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So this could have something to do with nature and animals or the environment. Um, and 
your past life oracle identifier is the male female card so perhaps here you can barely see that so perhaps this had something to do with a male female relationship of some sort work love life all right or will we'll see you also have the eight of pentacles which is virgo energy a working hard kind of energy um, with the number 44 there um, but you have the broken glass which foretells ill luck for long years if near but if distant death of a friend so the way i see this is what's close maybe recently happened right if so if there's something that's recently happened that was devastating right with what regards to whatever this is this is a time to recalibrate i mean there's a few stories here and i won't go into like all the details but you know you also have death of a friend perhaps there's some reminiscing on that perhaps something that happened a long time ago because it does seem distant right um yeah if near maybe something that happened that was unlucky that recently happened thinking nearly happened right and the quill get back to the basics bread period of prosperity and abundance so perhaps this is just a time to kind of go back to where you were before and maybe with a fine tooth coat uh, to fine tooth comb love retrograde okay <laughs> thanks mercury i've been faring pretty well up until now all right um perhaps it's time to kind of reevaluate what you have right that's what i was trying to say so and express any gratitude towards that you know the end of cycle tells us that maybe there had been some storm that had passed that left behind some devastation and maybe now you're kind of in cleanup mode um appreciation mode and then moving forward mode right because you do have this period of prosperity and abundance on the horizon here as well and with nature and animals maybe it has something to do with that right could also mean there's a new uh, relationship that's coming into play as well we'll keep going gratitude second line parades are a staple of new orleans culture the uplifting music and dance signify prevailing circumstances through celebration whether in celebration of marriage death or just the good times in between second line parades always emphasizes leaning on gratitude and appreciation because all is never lost huh so maybe this cleanup process only appears to be a total mess and like devastating but actually it's going to be a benefit towards the end because you got to kind of approach it with some appreciation and gratitude right and treat it like a parade right like have fun with it this card signifies that it's time for you to remember to celebrate sometimes looking at the big picture and all the steps between the beginning and the end can make it seem like you're on an overwhelmingly endless journey giving yourself moments to enjoy any accomplishment even if it's just the fact that you're still trying is reason enough to celebrate the more that you tap into your gratitude and appreciation, the sooner you will see things moving more quickly in your desired direction. Feel the music of life and dance a little. You're on your way and you always have been. Number seven, end of cycle. Another thing, we have six leading to seven. That's progression. So that's a good thing, okay? Hurricane Katrina signifies the end of an era in an unexpected and uncomfortable way. And perhaps that's the ill luck, right? Okay. The hurricane led not only to the devastation of well-known comforts, but also to the beginning of desired growth and forward movement. Many times it's necessary for things to fall apart in order for them to come together. You can expect that your comfort zones have been shaken up. The good news is that whatever your perception of change or loss is in this situation, there are wishes about to be filled on the horizon. Focus your energy on the things that you do have control over. Move forward step by step instead of trying to create the entire plan in advance. There will likely be things that arise during this time that can be perceived as setbacks. But if you focus on what is in your power, this experience, while not the easiest, will still prove to have a positive outcome. And that's where you get your bread. <laughs> All right. And this could very well be maybe, you know, there's somebody, there's a Gemini out there that just experienced a literal natural disaster, right? <laughs> That's entirely possible. The environment took over for a second, shook things up. So your inner peace cards are number 18, 9. You know, something near completion, new beginnings are on the horizon. Your purpose is personal expansion. 
How can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose? I mean, this is a good time to evaluate where you came from. And maybe you've realized that you've been carrying a lot of baggage you don't need, right? So this is probably a blessing in disguise, right? Number nine, another nine. All right, nines are going to be very, very strong for you as a sign. Express yourself creatively. Start something new. What creative pursuit do you feel drawn to? And that would be very good for you too because that offers some sacral chakra healing, um, which you'll also need. You'll need some self-care during this time, okay? Get back to the basics. Think of what you need to do for yourself, okay? All right, Libra. Immediately I'm seeing that um, perhaps there's been some misfortune, right? There's travels involved, either physically or mentally, regarding health. Let me see if you can see that. Okay. And there's a snake on there, so maybe there's been some trickery, <laughs> financially speaking. Um, you have the bear here that indicates danger, especially in money matters. And you have the birds that signify dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near. Um, I'll go into the other stuff that it mentions there in a second. Um, you do have the Ace of Pentacles, however, which is new beginnings, right? In the tangible. It also represents um, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So that may be significant. Um, you have number 25, nature. So an 18 piece. So whatever this is, situation-wise, either has something to do with traveling that got costly <laughs> or perhaps will be costly but very hugely beneficial to your health and peace, right? Or it doesn't necessarily have to be. You just got to be smart about it, right? Okay, so let's get into it. 18 breaks down to a 9, peace. There are many times throughout our human experience when we make snap decisions from a superficial level without even knowing our true desires. There you go with the misfortunes and money, right? So you'd be smart with your decisions, okay? And make sure you know what you want and it's worth investing in, right? Time, money, resource. This card has come up in your reading because peace is what you desire right now, even if you don't realize it. Currently, there may be too many issues and thoughts swirling around in your life, in your mind, keeping you from being at peace. Now is the time to ask yourself what changes are within your power to make that you can create a deeper sense of peace for you. To create a deeper connection with yourself at this time and to gain more clarity, it is recommended that you spend some time doing mind, body, spirit activities such as yoga or meditation and perhaps travels involved with that too, right? Okay, you got nature, you got health. It's all kind of leading to that. It is also recommended that you spend some more time in nature. Bam, pair it up with the next card, right? No matter how small the gesture may seem to you, every little bit counts and it's a st step closer to your desire. And you have 25 nature, 25 is seven, which is a lucky number, okay. Spending time in natural spaces is one of the easiest ways for your body, mind, and spirit to regain balance and healing. You are in need of a date with nature, whether it's a day at the beach, a quick walk in the park, or even just a few minutes to let your bare feet make contact with the grass. Finding time to enjoy the outdoors will be helpful to you. Take a moment to see how your energy flows with even the thought of incorporating a little more nature into your life. Once you allow yourself to connect in this way, you will feel a deeper connection, peace, and clarity within yourself. So that's pretty straightforward as well. But let's get into these birds. Number nine. Just like peace, number nine. So nines are important. It means something's near completion. The birds signify dire misfortune and fierce enemies when near. If far away from you, so if it's been something that's been a while, right, there's a chance to avert whatever evil spell it is. <laughs> now, the number 7, 16, 12, 22 might also be significant. There's a lot of 7s. We've got 7 with that nature card. We got 7 and then 16, which breaks down to a 7. 12 breaks down to a 3. 22 breaks down to a 4. Okay? So 7s as well as nines might be significant. Born in 79, something happened, July 9th, you get the drift, okay? So let's see what your inner peace cards suggest, okay? Number 24, six. Anxiety isn't trying to limit you, but free you from a situation that no longer feels good. What is your discomfort trying to free you from? 
whatever those fierce enemies are, right? 29, which breaks down to an 11, which also breaks down to a 2. Deep inward journey. You'll be rewarded for the work. How can you alchemize your fear? That's a good one. So whatever it is that brought this state where you're going to need to go into nature, perhaps even do a little traveling, come up with some ideas. Uh, that's for health. Vacation-wise, just be careful not to spend too much. You could do something local, like a vacation for that. doesn't have to be anything seriously huge, right? It's not like you got to go on some ashram retreat in India if you live in, I don't know, United States, <laughs> go across the seas, <laughs> but you know, it could be something in your own, your county or region or something too. So think simple, right? All right, Aquarius. So we've got quite a bit going on here. We have number 30, make a wish, right? All about manifestation and 33, which is also about manifestation, create your reality, right? We also have the crystals card from the Life Purpose Oracle um, regarding healing energy. So maybe this has a signifier for you. Maybe there's a crystal out there that can help. Uh, you also have the Persecution and Inquisition card from the Past Life Oracle. And I'll show that to you because I know it's got a holographic. It's a little hard to show up on camera. Come on, focus. You also have the Six of Pentacles here, which is... Virgo energy? Yes, that's Virgo energy. Okay. Um, and that's typically a card of reciprocity, right? But for this purpose, we're just using it as an identi identi identifier. Mercury you're rich, great. Gotta love it. 51 breaks down to a six as well. So six is important. You got 33 here with create your reality, which is also a six. 30 breaks down to a three. Divisible into six. And you have the lion, which presages a sudden shock from bad news. I also see the lion is a Leo card as well. So this could be a Virgo or a Leo. Maybe cuspy? That is a cuspy. Or cuspy energy. You also have grapes. Time to go out and have fun. And door and opportunities are waiting for you. So perhaps you came from a situation where um, you felt persecuted. That's the bad news, right? Perhaps it, you know, shocked you sudden. Like you, it came from a source where you didn't expect that that would happen from. So now you have this new opportunity where you can go out and have fun and actually manifest something for your healing, right? And maybe there's a crystal that'll help you with that. Or maybe the person's name is Crystal. I just thought about that. <laughs> All right, so number 30, make a wish. All right, it's time to make a wish. This card has shown up. Because it's time to let go and let the universe guide you. You have thought every thought. You have done all that's within your power for the moment. Sit back and imagine your desire without restrictions. Allow yourself to feel what it would be like to fully experience the thing you most hope for. So whatever that is, I'd say go for it, right? And then kind of be guided to where you need to go on that. Give gratitude to your yourself and your angels for helping you manifest that which is for your highest good. And who knows, perhaps whatever this persecution situation is, this Virgo Leo energy, it's not for your highest greatest good. So once you remove it, you make room for what is, right? And then just let, let the universe guide you, right? Number 33, create your reality. Let me shift here a second. Dragonfly. The dragonfly is about perception, illusion, and transformation in mental energy. This card, this card means you've grown stronger in your manifestation skills, and it is necessary to pay attention to where you choose to focus your thoughts and energy. Think about what you want, not about what you don't want. Has a recent situation not been to your liking, perhaps shocking from bad news, <laughs> or persecutory, <laughs> or inquisitive, a little too inquisitive, okay. Yes, and led you to focus on what is lacking as opposed to what is abundant. There are often triggers that can tempt us to dwell on what we don't want, but when the dragonfly shows up, it's letting us know that we've grown beyond the thoughts that control us. It is now time to mindfully choose what you will focus on as you move forward in your life. All right, with that said, 
Whatever this is makes room for the better. Let's see what your inner peace cards have to say. Number eight. I can never get it to focus right. There we go. You heal by releasing, not suppressing. What emotions do you need to feel? And number two. You can radically change your results by shifting your beliefs. What belief is li limiting you? There you go. Awesome. All right, Aries. The cards that came out for you is number 11, Signs, from the New Orleans Oracle. Number 19, which breaks down to a 10, Abundance. You also have the Life Purpose card of Writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. And the identifier for the past life oracle is food and hunger. I'm just going to show that to you really quick here. I know it's a little hard to show up on screen. There we go. All right. You also have the five of swords, which is Libra energy. Um, number six, the coffin, which could indicate an ending leading to a new beginning. Doesn't necessarily have to be an actual death. You have the month of May and mountain, major challenge to overcome. Okay. All right, number 11, signs. Synchronicities are a sign of being on the right path. Everything from repetitive number patterns to animal messengers and found items such as feathers or coins can be signs that your angels are helping you along your path. If this card has shown up for you, then your angels have been trying to get your attention and point you in the right direction. If you need help with clarifying the message, simply ask for more assistance from the universe and pay attention to the signs that it sends you. Abundance. The fastest way to attract more abundance into your life is to first tap into your gratitude, which can reveal the many gifts that are already present. Although life may not always feel or look exactly the way you desire, there is always something to be thankful for. Recognizing these things, no matter how big or small, will help your vibration flow into attracting greater abundance. If this card has shown up, then you are on your way to manifesting a more abundant life through the practice of appreciation. Each day, take the time to list a few things that you're thankful for and feel how your energy shifts in a more enjoyable way that will eventually lead you towards attracting more of what you desire in your life. Okay. So, what I'm getting from this is maybe there's a major challenge to overcome and you're having a hard time seeing the, the good in it, right? What it's supposed to teach you. So it may seem like this is something for someone that's just starting on their spiritual awakening, right? Or their soul journey or just trying to figure out what their life purpose is, right? Um, the Five of Swords is a tricky card, but I'm not using it as a situation identifier. I'm just doing it for the Libra. But swords are all about communication, right, and truths. So maybe this is about finding your own truth, right? And the coffin signifies, you know, things that typically end and lead to new beginnings. It also has number six. That may be a significant number. Um, maybe there was some sort of acute illness or loss of property. If it was recent and if it was not so recent, um, then maybe you're fine. Maybe you're out of the woods, right? Something having to do with May, maybe it's involving a person that was born in May, or maybe this happened this past May. Um, I also see purple there, so it may be something where it's allowing your intuition to flow, because that's like the color that's attached to your crown and your third eye, right? You got both indigo here and purple. Um, and you also have these cherry blossoms that indicate spring. So perhaps that's where your new beginning began, but it's had a hard time, you know, kind of settling in and giving you direction, right? Um, the writing card um, signifies that communication, right? You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So maybe writing at this time is going to be extremely helpful for you. The food and hunger card really could just indicate maybe there's something there uh, regarding nutrition that you need to focus on um, and explore, right? Maybe there's been some sort of lack with regard to nutrition and you're trying to figure that out or maybe you're into writing about nutrition. Uh, so whatever that means for you, uh, perhaps that's an avenue where you can kind of look towards 
uh, to keep things somewhat busy during this time until you start getting more of those signs and synchronicities, right? And figuring out whatever gratitude exercises you need to do or, you know, just looking for the pluses in a situation. Um, just so you don't see that whatever you just came from is a serious challenge. you got to start kind of flipping the thought towards oh, newness. There's a new beginning on the horizon. Endings aren't a finale. It's not a finale, right? So I definitely get sort of rebirth energy here. And this is just a time to really take care of yourself um, and do what you need for yourself and really think about where you want to go and what's next for you, right? Well, what makes you truly joyous and un abundant, right? And then you can ask the universe for that and then see for signs. Your inner peace cards are number 40. What is has no bearing on what will be. How perfect is that? You also have those moon phases there as well. And the, um, what's it called? Oh, the sacred geometry in the background there. All right, what does your ideal life look and feel like, right? So thinking about what you want to do. Number six, there is strength in doing nothing. Rebirth, wait, love it. What have you been forcing and how can you let go of the outcome? Sometimes now is peaceful st stillness is good to figure out what goes and what stays, right? Sometimes that needs to happen during that stage. Um, I know certainly for me, and I was sitting there in the void stage and awakening. I'm like, okay, what now? Like, I felt like I was in limbo, right? <laughs> but I got a really good opportunity to evaluate where I come from and who was a hindrance, who was helpful, who was loving, who was not, who was vampiric, who was expressing gratitude, you know, who was actually there for me, who wasn't, what situations I needed to clear out, what kind of junk did I have in the house to clean out? I mean, like, I really did a huge um, spring cleaning. So perhaps that was, that's what May also kind of indicates is that maybe it's time to do some spring cleaning and then figure out what you really enjoy. And sometimes when we do that, we rediscover things we kind of had buried in the back of a file cabinet, right? Metaphorically speaking, that we'd like to kind of bring back into our life that we thought we had lost, right? Looking at that food and hunger cart there, right? Something that's nourishing to your soul, right? All right, there you go, Aries. Hopefully that helps. All right, Leo. We have a very interesting poll here. Number 14, adventure. 14 breaks down to five. I'll go ahead and read that. It is easy to get caught up with the obligations of completing everyday chores, so much that the very essence of inspiration and excitement can slowly fade away. <gasps> Sorry about that, Leo. Just had a little throat tickle that caused a cough spiritual all right that basically is a clear audience response throat chakra response heads up to pay attention and speak truth there may be a blockage warning for you that's good to know it's also communication with spirit for any reason and a time to reconnect okay so continue with an in adventure and the intuition card there kind of indicates that as well and i also see the galactic card is kind of connecting with the divine, right? Not just like a, an interest in sciences or something like that, right? And it's still tickling my throat. <laughs> I have a little tea here. All right. It is easy to get caught up in the obligations of completing everyday chores. So much that very essence of inspiration and excitement can slowly fade away. Before we know it, life becomes one long day of completing task after task. This has shown up because it's time for some adventure. Adventures can be had near and far. It's all about paying attention to what brings the feeling of renewed excitement into your being. Whether it's taking a day trip to a fun and unfamiliar place or checking out a new activity that piques your interest. It is definitely time to break the cycle of what your days have turned into. It is time to explore and renew yourself with inspirational energy by having an adventure. All right, and a little burp almost wanted to come out, too. And I'm not drinking anything bubbly, so um, there's a sign of, it's a sign of impatience to slow down. It also could indicate a solar plexus blockage as well, okay? I want to make sure I get that in there. That may be relative to your situation. The solar plexus is also related to the sun sign on the tarot card, which is 
you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So maybe there's some fire energy that's needed, you know, some kind of spark, right? You have number 27, intuition. Intuition is the accurate inner knowing that each of us is born with. If you, have, if you choose to tune into it consistently, it will become stronger, and it can help guide you and bring you peace throughout your every aspect of your life. You are being called to ask yourself, what do I feel about this? By remembering to start with that question, it will allow you to understand the difference between what you think and what you feel. Sometimes it is necessary to be aware of the profound difference between the nature of these two things. You are not being asked to completely sacrifice intellectual thought, but rather to combine it with your gift of intuition in order to gain more balance and clarity in your life's decisions. Now you have the number, you have the Eight of Cups here, <clears throat> which is typically a need to move on. It's also Pisces energy. And you also have uh, the December card here. So perhaps something that's coming up might be challenging or will require you to kind of see into it. Or perhaps this is stemming from something that happened in December. Or you could be dealing with somebody that was born in December. Um, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Yeah. So you also have the staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. So whatever challenges presented or has presented or will present, um, you will be taken care of. Okay. Uh, just follow your intuition. Do something fun on that adventure. Be adventurous. Uh, you have the cats here. You actually have two cats, and they tend to be playful. Cats are actually very intuitive, so that kind of like supports that as well. You have number 36, which breaks down to another nine. So nines are significant here as well. That means something is near completion. The cat indicates flattery. Um, and as far as I'm reading this for identifying purposes, we're just going to go six, and 29 and 30. <laughs> 29 breaks down to an 11, 30 breaks down to a 3. Okay, so those are significant to you. So we could have flattery, we could have personal injury or strife. Whatever this difficult time is, maybe one of those things. And maybe the flattery is not so much of a difficult time, but maybe you just have somebody that's a little too interested in the situation when they probably need to give you a break. <laughs> <laughs> could just be a very um, overzealous child. <laughs> I'm getting that kind of energy from that. <laughs> Perhaps a, you know, a child that just constantly needs attention in the now, right? Um, and perhaps your creative expression there might be a good activity to kind of redirect that energy, right? Um, so your inner peace cards are number 20. Nothing real can be threatened. How can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? So keep your peace, right? Having that adventure and creativity helps with that. You're tapping into your intuition. Number 26, eight. Again, with another eight. Eights are also about abundance. Soul alignment. It's time for a radical change. I love this card. It's her on the horse and wow. It's like she's being brought up. How can you show up for yourself in ways that you have never before? So tap in, see how you can get creative on that one. You know, maybe learn something new. I'm looking at that galactic cart there. You know, something that's um, out of this world, something different, something out of the box, right? All right. All right, Sagittarius. I'm loving this. All right, we got a couple stories here. You're either dealing with somebody could be a spouse, could be someone you're in a relationship with or some sort of contractual obligation with. You also have pleasure with a close-up friend. So this could be just a very strong friendship. Um, it could be work-related. It could be home-related. It could be about children. There's so many. Um, it could be about your career. Right? So it could be work-love life. All right? So, and you got the Ten of Cups on the board. So it's all amazing, awesome sauce. You have number one, power. That's Marie Laveau, by the way. And number nine, dreams. So the power card just talks about Marie Laveau a little bit and how powerful and integral she was in the community, okay? Marie Laveau was the epitome of power and grace within the community of Orleans, New Orleans. Not only was she known as an astute businesswoman, but she was also the go-to person for the spiritual remedies of everyday life. 
If you have drawn this card, you have been called to embrace all aspects of yourself and to rise to every occasion with confidence. You are so much more than the mundane daily tasks that often bog you down. New opportunities will help you explore the different ways you can express yourself and feel more fulfilled. Okay? Nine, dreams. There is a fine line between a conscious state and a dreaming state. During your dreaming state, your dreams can represent premonitions as well as simple energy outlets for your underlying thoughts and concerns. Now is the time to pay careful attention to your dreams. Keeping a dream journal, whether verbal or written, will help you recall your dreams. It will also provide a frame of reference that you can help decipher the messages and themes that your higher self wants to share with you. They may be trying to tell you something important about how you feel about things going on in your life when you're awake. They could also be things that are about to come up and be sort of premonitions as well. Um, so they kind of will showcase what, what will make you happy, right? Your abundance, what, what's important. You also have the protected card and you are safe and protected. So your guides are certainly with you. Like you're on it. You've got this amazing power going on behind you. I love it. This energy is amazing. You have the Ten of Cups, which is like ultimate happiness. So automatically as far as identifiers are on board here. We've got Virgo, Libra with the September card. But there's a lot of trees and earth there. So it could be any earth sign. I'm kind of picking that up too. So Capricorn and uh, Taurus. <laughs> you also have Pisces with the Ten of Cups here. You have number seven, bou Bouquet of Flowers is an absolute indication of long and happy life. If children are near, which if you do have that and they're near, extraordinary honors and uh, honest honors and fame. I love it. Number seven as well, which is a lucky number. Um, you have dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. So I mean, this is amazing. So whatever, whatever it is you want to do, you have the confidence to do it. This is like a go ahead from the universe, right? It's like, do it, right? Whatever you're dreaming about, do it. All right. 28 from your unshakable inner peace guidance, which breaks down to a 10. Tens are about endings leading to new beginnings. All right. One is also a new beginning and having the backing of Marie Laveau there is a huge go for it from the universe for me. Don't run from the darkness. Embrace your shadow side. What aspect of yourself have you been afraid to look at or address? So maybe it's good to kind of clean that up. Maybe it might actually lead you to some Whatever is going on in your dreams will actually lead you to something bigger, right? Number 14, which breaks down to a five, forgiveness will set you free. So maybe it's a grudge. Maybe that's your shadow, right? Something simple. What do you need to forgive yourself for? It could just also be just something you've been holding on to, right? Not necessarily towards anybody in particular. You do have dog close up, pleasure with a friend. So that's actually a good card. And that could be an also, also an identifier as well. Maybe dogs are important. All right. Bye.